Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's take a look at an example of Descartes' rule of signs for positive x-intercepts. Suppose that we have f of x is equal to negative 5x to the fifth minus x to the third plus 7x squared minus x plus 2. Let's take a look at how many potential positive x-intercepts we might have of this. Well, we read from left to right, and we keep, we keep track of the signs of the coefficients here as we go along. So this was negative, so I'll put a negative, and I write negative, positive, negative, positive. Now, as I read from left to right, I'll count how many times the sign changes. Stays the same, up once, that's one change. Up again, another change. Up again, another change. This means that the total number of positive x-intercepts is equal to either three or any even number less, such that I stay, stay um, uh, above or equal to zero. So three or one, since one is two less than three. So that's the number of possible positive x-intercepts. Now let's look at another example. What if we had g of x is equal to 2x to the seventh minus 8x to the fifth minus 2x to the fourth plus x cubed minus x squared plus 5x minus 11. So let's, let's look at this. So we think this has a positive coefficient, negative, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. Then I'm going to read from left to right. One sign change, no sign change. Oh, another sign, that's two, three, four, five. So this means that the number of positive x-intercepts are either five, and then I go down, an even number, so three or even one. That's the all, all the possibilities of going down from five by an even amount such that I'm above or equal to zero. So that is, those are the possible numbers of positive, um, positive x-intercepts. In particular, this tells us that we have at least one, notice. Nowhere in here does it say we have zero potential, we actually know for sure that we at least have one positive x-intercept. It's kind of not neat, a neat result that we can actually force and see that, hey, we actually have at least one to look for, one positive x-intercept, so let, we can look for it. So that's one, one nice option. Let's look at another one, one more example. Um, what if we had um, h of x is equal to negative x to the seventh minus x cubed minus x minus 10. Okay, let's see. Negative, 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 negative. Let's read it. I don't see any sign changes. This means that there are zero positive x-intercepts because our beginning number is zero and subtracting off an even number to stay above or equal to zero keeps us at zero. So the number of possible, this is the number of possible x possible positive x-intercepts is zero. Thanks for watching.